Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today we're bringing up that time for a change to the conclusion of that. My Grail water bottle set. I've been playing with it now for several days since you saw my initial thing, and I'm making some changes to it. So I've got it set up now, and I want you to see how it stacks and goes together now, and the little tips and tricks I figured out. So, let me adjust the camera, and we'll go over it in depth. Stay with me. Okay, here's my Grail water bottle carrier. First edition I did. I've taken the side lacing strap, come up, and I've added a second cord lock to it. This allows me to lock it up and over the top and cinch it down to keep it from coming out of the carrier. Okay, so if this gets turned upside down, it don't fall out. But at the same time, I can just simply grab that tab and pop it up and off and pull the grill bottle right out. Now, only one cord lock has to be adjusted, which is the front one. I leave the back one locked in place, but I'll get to that in a second. Grab and pull it, spread. Now, if you'll notice on the back, I've locked the handle in the downward position. I'll show you that in depth in a minute. And it locks into here just fine, so it's not going to slide up and out, and it's not in the way. Okay? I grab them. All I got to do is just take the thumb, pull that out a little bit. And straight out of the top comes the cooking vessel. Now, the long handle spoon that we talked about that I was not enthused with because of that goes away. It's being replaced by a titanium UCO. UCO. It's a titanium spork. It's got the cutting edge, the fork, and the spoon. It's relatively thin, relatively sturdy, weighs nothing, and it's got a handy carrying strap for hooking it several different ways. Now, in the bottom goes about four feet of heavy-duty aluminum foil that I have folded up flat. Now, I have done it in this way, and then I've accordioned it, accordioned it so I can roll off however much I need right here and cut it and unwrap this, and I have to unroll the whole thing, okay? That's enough right there to cook several meals. I can make a little heat reflector. I can have a place to lay out process game to keep the the meat and stuff up off the dirt, etc. Lots and lots of uses. This goes, nothing else in it, into the bottom of the carrier. Fold it just like that. Okay. Now, on the little Stanley pot, I know about getting rid of this and going to a key ring fob. I will do that once this one ever goes bad on me but it's no problem right now, so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. But folding the tab down, setting it so the hollow base is up, I put the lid in next, pushing it down. Now, notice I relaced. The lacing is now wider, it was coming from there, comes through, and then I come up, go underneath, and go to this one. So this one wraps around that one to go to this one, okay? wraps around the same way up and it makes more of a basket weave in here less open space this will be trapped in place and cannot work its way out left or right once everything's in place okay the i've tried wiggling out you're not going to get it out because it's wider this way and it can't push past these corners unless you got it come straight up and down out of the top okay now the pot itself when the handle comes on it just a moment. There we go. When the handle comes on it, it comes in this configuration. Like this. Okay? And that works. However, it doesn't want to carry that way, and it blocks me putting the water bottle in. So what you do is you take it, squeeze the handles until you work the handles out. And I've got one cut just a little bit shorter so they will come out easy, relatively easy. There we go, okay? Now you turn the handle around facing downward like this and put it back in there. It'll go right in. You don't quit scooting the carrier, uh, the lock up, so it got plenty of room. Like that. Okay, see now it locks down the side. When you bring it up, it locks in place. You slide the keeper up, 
and it, when you grab it, the handles don't go together. Rock solid, just like before, but now it's a sticking straight out handle, which makes it a little easier in and out of the fire, okay? Now, and I can also slide my carrier down, squeeze the handles, and fold it flat down the side. Now, to put it in there, I'm going to go in, and then over this first set of knots right here, with first cross, I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to go over them. Just like that. Then I'm going to tuck it under this set of knots, just like that. Now it's fully down, holds the lid and the aluminum foil in place. Now the Yuko, I'm going to take, and in this corner over here, know it's got that yellow strap thing on it. I'm going to take that yellow strap and invert it the other way. So it's at the top. Just like that. Okay? Now that's going to slide down on this side just like that. There's the tines of the fork hooking down by the lid. Now you see it's completely out of the way. And it ain't going to come out. It's in there. Okay? Oh, handle popped up. That was me. I can, if I want to really secure this handle so it's not going to come up, you know what? Come up in that second set right there. Do it like that. Now that really ain't going to go anywhere. Just get that Yuko down there, hook it around, go all the way to the bottom around that lid. Like that. Now we take and simply saw back and forth a little on these side straps. Just like that, and it's 100% in there. It ain't going nowhere. Doesn't rattle, doesn't nothing. Now the water bottle fits in facing forward. I'm going to be carrying it on my hip like this with that forward on it. I flip up that water over the top just like that. It's easy to find the place you want it and just lock it. And that way I grab the tab. I just grab this tab, pull up, it pops over. I can pull it out, take it back, take it back over the top one-handed, just like that. Pop it on. You're good to go. It just keeps it from falling out. That's all there is to it. So, this is the way it rides. Like this. Right on that left hip, right where I want it. It's not bad, it's not going to encumber me squatting, standing, whatever. And I'm probably going to be getting me a utility belt to carry all this on anyway. That's where I normally carry this type of stuff anyway. But I've got full access to my knives, Blackbird, my six-way sheets, etc. This will give me full access to a sidearm on this side. And so this is quick and handy. I reach back, take my thumb, lift up, pull out. Put it back. All i got to do is just reach back and scoop it. Like that, it's a little fiddly when you're learning. And click that over that. And we're good to go. It's gonna be there. That quick, that simple. Now, we've made a change to the water carrier. What's next? Haversacks, rucksacks. This is gonna start all of it. So, in the next video, we're going to define what we need in a way to carry the cargo that's the gear we need for the outdoors. We're going to define what we need, how we need to carry it, and our different levels of carry, our system that we're working on. We've got the water covered. We've got the knife covered. Now, what do I need in a haversack? What do I need in a nap? sack. What do I need in a ruck sack? What do I need in a designated camping bag? What do I need in a winter camping bag? All of the above. That'll be on the next installment. And I think I'm going to call this series Time for a Change. So next time guys, we'll delve into that.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for all your questions and comments, and thank you very much for supporting my channel. Till next time, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.